What's up, everybody? This is Matt from Merck Patriot News. And right next to me is Romeo. And today we're going to be talk, talk about Tucker Carlson and him being worried about Donald Trump's safety. But first, I need you guys to hit the like and comment and share this out to everybody. Really appreciate it. Now, this has been going into articles all over the place. I've seen it in Breitbart, also uh, Gateway Pundit, Just the News, and other articles like that. And uh, he seems to be very worried about it. And I know other people are worried about it as well. Romeo, what do you think? Well, I'm I'm worried about it personally, and I have been for some time. Um, at the end of the day, if they can't put him in jail, take him off the ballot, or beat him some other way they'll go to any lengths to stop them i've heard like sam harris i call it the sam harris rationality which is the ends justify the means and they are fine going to any length for the removal well, of donald trump as a candidate it's not only his, his uh saying it's actually a communist belief as well the ends justify the means communists believe that yeah yeah, definitely. Um, what do you think the future holds? Is it? I don't know. I mean, are they going to let Trump be president? No, of course. I mean, look, if, you know, they protested him, they called him names. He won anyway. They impeached him twice on ridiculous pretenses. They <laughs> fabricated a lot about what happened on January 6th in order to impeach him again. It didn't work. He came back. Then they indicted him. It didn't work. He became more popular. Then they indicted him three more times. And every single time his popularity rose. So if you begin with criticism, then you go to protest, then you go to impeachment. Now you go to indictment and, and none of them work. What's next? I mean, let, you know, graph it out, man. We're speeding toward assassination, obviously, and no one will say that. But I don't, I don't know how you can't reach that conclusion. You know what I mean? Like they have decided, permanent Washington, both parties have decided that there's something about Trump that's that's so threatening to them they just can't have him. I mean, they're putting him on trial in March of next year in the J six case, which basically consists of trying to send him to prison for the rest of his life for complaining about the last election. That's literally what it is. Again, if this were happening in Moldova, the State Department would issue an all-hands-on-deck order to let the world know this is not a legitimate government. And yet our government is doing it. It's like, it, I, it's, it's really, it's hard to overstate how bad this is. And I'm not, I, I don't, I don't know where it's going, but there's a collision that's clearly imminent. And by the way, the president is senile in a way that's impossible to deny. Biden's not running the government, you know? So like, I don't know. I've never been this worried about anything as I am about where this is going. Yeah. What a great way to sum it up, Matt. That's why Tucker is the best. Um, I, I literally was trying to express what he just said a couple of minutes ago before we watched the video and there's so many components of what's going on but he's right this is ultimately going to result in a collision somewhere and what's going to happen then uh i'm hoping we could divert it and i'm hoping cooler heads prevail we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens because none of us are uh know the future not only that uh for all we know they're not going to uh, this as far as they're going to go this is something that they're trying to do uh, to actually, they know he's going to win and they decide, okay, we're going to delegitimize him as much as possible before he gets in there. And that's what this is all about as well. And deal with him for four years. Yeah. yeah I mean, that could definitely be. The, also, they want to try to get him off the ballot. So they need to get the one in DC, a conviction from the DC one in order to do that. Because if you had a conviction, then you have, actual uh a reason to take him off the ballot because he's been convicted of starting the January 6 riots. Yeah, I mean completely wrong on its face. Trump did absolutely nothing wrong. Look, when you preface what you're going to say with peacefully and patriotically uh march and express our voices, the we the people voice and that's not a call to violence. No. This is uh, they. This is literally the textbook definition of uh, election interference, 
and you're right they're going to take this towards removing him from the ballot anywhere that they can and hope that it catches on in other states with liberal control legislatures or even attorney generals one person in the right governor in the right place could make it so that state leans and swings toward removing donald trump from the ballot when you and i both know that it's completely unacceptable for to remove him from the ballot anywhere granted that he wins the nomination okay that he, he clearly is the republican of choice um any attempt to take him off the ballot in any state i don't even care if it's california or new york that we know we're not going to win but that is Again, that's election interference at the highest level in real time, coming to you in real time, remove him from the ballot. It's unacceptable. Well, uh, the fact is the case in D.C. and the case in uh, in Georgia, they're related and they're related by one motive, and that is uh, a destruction of the fir- First Amendment uh, when it comes to freedom of speech. And, cha- and freedom of speech also allows you to challenge elections. And that's that's what they want to stop. They want to stop uh, Republicans. The, uh, they don't care about Democrats if they challenge the election, but they what they care about is Republicans challenging elections, and that's really the motive of, of this whole thing. And also, it's about mind reading. What was Isn't it thinking? funny how that works, though? It's yeah. okay when Democrats do it, but when Republicans do it, it's a crime. Well, guys, we're going to have to end the show. We really appreciate it. Hit the like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. And if you're new to the channel, and you, if you like our product, please. Subscribe. We really appreciate it. We'll see you live tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. Central Standard. Have a wonderful rest of your day.